There is a rising. A new tribe is rising with a compelling vision of a new, developed, and prosperous Africa. Can you see a new Africa emerging in one generation? Would you like to join this tribe of youth influencers working to birth impactful governance, justice, accountability, quality development, credible elections, peace, and prosperity in Vacity, powered by Young Stars Foundation with support from National Endowment for Democracy and the African Union AGA. Hello and welcome to Ken Varsity TV series brought to you by Youngsters Foundation with support from the National Endowment for Democracy Net USA and our media partner AIT, I am Anne Chikumike. And I am Salamata Al Hassan. This is where we follow the lives of Ken Varsity delegates who are providing support to elected representatives and public institutions all in a bid to ensure good governance all over Africa. Canvassy delegates are already embarking on their six-month project. Let me that look and ask. So I'm to Anne, what is a six-month project? Now, a six-month project is where Canvassy delegates are to identify a key issue in the local space and find a lasting solution to that issue. Yep, we call it the WWH. What is the issue? Why has this issue been addressed? And how are we going to address this issue? Today, we are going to explore Shego Fatso and Mukhtar's six-month project back-to-back. Back. We hope you stay glued to their reports and experiences. Stay tuned. My name is Sarofa Tsokosintwa and I am from Botswana. The issue that I identified in my six-month project is lack of efficiency service knowledge by the newly employed and less interest in nation building by the youth. The reason why I chose this issue is because 60% of Botswana population is young people and the very same people are university students who later graduate and get employed. Using Blue Ocean strategy to meet the minister and I was able to meet the minister after uh, trying several times to meet him up to no avail and I made a way to finally get to meet him and introduce the project that I am doing. The other progress in my six months project is realizing uh, a meeting with the Minister Honorable Mabeo. Uh, after trying several times to uh, meet him up to no avail so i made a way and used the blue ocean strategy to end up minister to end up uh, meeting the minister so that i can be able to introduce my uh, uh, six months project to him my six month project is on almajiri boys roaming the street of Sokto State without food, shelter, health care, or even parental care, all in the name of seeking Islamic knowledge. Most of these boys are not going to schools and are forced to child labor. In some cases, they eventually found themselves as a victim of drug abuse, child labor, violence, extremism, or even terrorism that uh, Northern Nigeria is facing now. The reason why I choose this program is, I mean, this project is because Northern Nigeria has been striked by different kind of violence, from ethnic violence, religious violence, or even terrorism, as I said. So it is, and it is a record that most of these boys found themselves as a victim of such attacks. That's why I choose to change the narrative. Uh, you know, I change, to, I choose to change the narrative from the grassroots. And I'm currently now working with Ministry of Education, Ministry for Religious Affairs on engaging Almajiri proprietors. I mean the, the the people that are teaching these boys in their schools and also their parents to see how we can reduce the menace. Currently we have, I mean I have three proprietors working with me, nine parents working with me and I've succeeded in securing admission for eight of those boys. and now sponsoring the education of three amongst them. Thank you.
that was very very sensational and brilliant it's it, it's very good to see young ones great minds out there trying to make their local space a better one yep and they're not slacking at it at all i'm so proud of them <laughs> okay so how about <laughs> all right coming up next is you know agbe segment stay with us african youth are you ready are you passionate about promoting more impact to governance and development? Can you devise and implement an exciting youth-friendly campaign to promote the African Charter on Democracy, Election and Governance Act in your country? If yes, here is your chance to participate in the 2018 African campaign and stand a chance to have your campaign activities catalogued in the 2018 Act 55 photo group. To learn how to participate and register your activity, kindly visit www.actec.africa. Eligibility African Youth Age 18 to 35. Advec 55 is an initiative of Youngsters Foundation. With support from National Endowment for Democracy. Advec 55, 55 engaging to improve governance. On today's No Advec segment, we shall be discussing Chapter 7, Article 22 which states that state parties shall create a conducive environment for independent and impartial national monitoring or observation mechanisms. All right, on the No Act Deck segment today, we will be talking about how parties, how state parties that have rectified this um, charter should ensure that they produce a conducive environment, you know, for external bodies that are going to come and, you know, observe mm -hmm. these election activities. I mean, there should be a violence-free um, environment. There should be an environment where these people's minds and, you know, and thoughts can mm -hmm. be corrupt-free. And, you know, they just, they can actually do, pass their opinions or, you know, judge this uh, election activities without any bias. All right, to find out more about AgDEC or to join our campaign to promote AgDEC in your country, simply visit www.agdec.africa. That is it on our program. We'd like to say many thanks to Ned and AIT, our media partner. Big kisses. Mm. And to your esteemed viewers, remember to follow our social media pages and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I am Anne Chukumike. And I am Salamatu Al Hassan. Good, Good governance is possible. Get, Get involved. involved.